Hello, um, my name's Jack Heath and I'm going to show you how to make this flower here, which is like a chrysanthemum. And I'm going to show you how to use how to make it by using the nestability circle scallops. Um, what you're going to need is a pair of scissors. I use a forming moulding tool, um, which is part of floral punch craft, but I'm going to show that you, you can actually use a spoon. Um, your three smallest size scallops and this is a it's a foam a foam pad um, if you haven't got a foam pad a mouse pad would probably do okay so for your largest scallop you're going to cut two for your middle size again cut two and for your smallest scallop you're going to cut three pieces and I'll just move these out of the way and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do with them. So you take each scallop and if you can see I've cut into the center of each one. I find this best by finding your halfway mark or near enough to that. You're not going to go all the way into the center. You're going to cut pie pieces without actually cutting them apart and cut down each scallop so it looks as if you have separate petals and you're going to do that all the way around. Once you've done each piece you're going to put them to one side and work on the smaller pieces. Now I've, because mine are a pink or very very pale pink what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pink ink pad. This is a stamping up pad but any ink pad would do. And because on the flower itself the centre of the flower is um, darker than the rest, we're going to just take a piece of sponge and we're just going to ink that up so it's got a bit more depth to the colour. And you can see I'm just doing this very roughly. Um, once the flower's formed, you'll see it doesn't really it doesn't really matter. So the first one, I'm going to do all of it, the whole of the the centre. I'm going to turn it over, and I'm just going to do the very edges of it, like so. And I'm going to repeat just the very edges of the other two smallest scallops and making it a little bit lighter as I go. So you can see with that I'm just catching the edges. This will be the back, the reverse of the flower. And because the flowers all curl in overs, so they form a cup, you're only going to see the back petals. Once you've done that with the, the smallest scalloped circles, you can cut them in exactly the same way that I showed you with that larger one. So there you can see I have three, which is the smallest ones. They're the only ones that I'm going to ink up. So I'll move that to one side and I'm going to show you the basics of actually forming the petals. So this is the one with the scallops all the way around that we've got cut. This is the tool that I use. I'm going to work from the very edge of it, very, very edge of that scallop, and I'm going to apply some pressure and drag it back. You can see it curls. Keep doing it until it really curls up. Now, if you haven't got the same tool as me, Try using a spoon. I know I've had some quite good results. I'm, I'll move that round and show you. Just again, lifting it up. And it will curl forward. The smoother and the rounder edge of the spoon, the better. And again, dragging it. It up. 
once you've got each individual petal dragged up you can see it's starting to form and take place the, the, the whole shape is coming in over us you do it with every individual petal and you can see it's forming a cup shape so do that with each piece that you've got now in true blue peter style I've already started and I'm just going to take all of the individual pieces apart so that you can see what we've got so This is the smallest ones and you can see all the edges of the, the smaller ones have got the ink on that I said. When it comes to the, the very centre one, what you can do is just push it in very gently and I'm just pushing with gently so that I don't crease it but it forms the flower and it forms a cup. And that's what I've done with this one. Once you're at this stage, you're going to slot them all into shape. One inside the other. And we'll do this by adding just a dab of glue on the bottom of each one. And placing them one inside the other. So there's my first one in. Another dab of glue, that's the second one in, another dab of glue, and keep going until all of your pieces are inside each other. And the very last one, which we've really made into it, nearly a ball. Another dab of glue on the bottom. And this is the tricky one, trying to keep hold of it. And popping that one in. Now this one does need one more, which I haven't finished, but I will, to go on the outside and you can mess that one up a little bit more and there we have it as easy as that